of a lady. She had never paid attention to the pain she felt on her chest from a scar she had forgotten how it was earned. The gasp for realization and the need for restitution would bring to consciousness this throbbing pain. But that's just right before the inhaler of ignorance is used. Because it may seem as though everything is okay. But it's just the symptoms that may have subsided, but the sickness is still healthy. See, this lady is humanity. Chained as a slave to a master that she may have forgotten how she was sold to. Consciously and unconsciously pledging allegiance to the lookalike of Lucifer, the manufacturer of the disease himself. He wants nothing but her death, the eternal damnation of her soul. He feeds her with a daily dosage of a myth filled meal, void of every nutrient needed for her growth. And now, the window to her soul, her eyes, her blinded eyes, her glaucoma filled eyes are always going to be the reflection of the moon even in the day. Blinded to the fact of her blindness, blinded to the thin stretch of flesh that hung limp from her bones due to starvation. Blinded to her master's leash that will have her believe his will was hers. And obediently will she eat up his lies because her malnourished mind cannot tell her otherwise. Into my life, come into my life. time to understand that the pain was from the battle that went on within her, her heart, that convinced her there had to be more, more than what the world had to offer because through the fun and the luxuries, the frustration of how empty they all are and the impending doom that waited for her at the end of the lane, she knew there was more and more waited for her. More was standing by an old bleeding cross. She, humanity, was lost in the pool of deception. She had sunk so deep almost to the bottom when more stretched forth his mighty arm and all that more needed was her step, her stretch of faith and she was pulled out of her pool of death to stand before him. More, Jesus, her savior. And as she, overwhelmed with her sin-ridden past, could not bear to stand before his holiness, she would rather go back and be a slave to the devil. But more called her one word. He said, you, you are perfect. With her tragic past and her crippled mind, she was perfect in God's eyes. He saw his bride beneath her flaws. He saw his love, the apple of his eyes. And he pleaded with her never to go back to Lucifer. That though he may prowl like a roaring lion, she is with the lion of the tribe of Judah. Her pain was gone. Her scar healed. Her journey to destiny must begin, but this time with the assurance of the power that worketh within her. The power of her Savior, Jesus Christ. And he has promised to be with her every step of the way to welcome her home to eternal life. So this, this is more than a story. It's a plea. It's a plea to every human to remember the bleeding cross, the hollow palms that pull us out of the clutches of death. It's a prayer for humanity. Because Jesus, Jesus is more than we can ever imagine. Into my life.